Okay, here's a little follow-up video to my trenching of my boiler lines. Finished product, pretty much. Um, two three-quarter inch PEX Clax A uh, boiler, boiler lines running underground here, and it's oxygen barrier style. So basically, buried in this four-inch corrugated tile um, with my Two PEX lines insulated really well. I also trenched in and, and had my electrical power supply for my panel in the same uh, same pipe, which is not to code, but it's it's fine. <laughs> um, so wrapped them really well, insulated them. Got a supply and return coming up here to this uh, heat exchanger. Basically, it's like a radiator with a with a fan on the back of it. <clears throat> And to control it, uh, the thermostat, basically I have a, also have a thermostat line running all the way to inside to the uh, control relay, which turns on the circulator pump and circulates the hot water up through the supply, and this is the return. And then this is a little thermostatic switch that I put on the return, so when it heats up to like 140, 150 degrees, then the fan will kick on. So um, it takes a little while for the for the hot water to to get here and and turn that temperature up, but um, it works great. I got a 28 by 28, 780 square foot garage, and it heats it nicely. So it's a Modian style heater, um, water to air heat exchanger they call it. And um, I've been messing around with putting this switch on the supply and on the return. Of course, on, on the supply side, it's gonna, it's gonna heat up faster. They're kicked on. It's got adjustable louvers here. That's kind of nice. This is a company off of eBay actually that I got it. I think this unit was $160. They claim it's a 50,000 BTU, but I dispute that. I, I really doubt that. They're, they're one inch, um, one inch supply and return lines and I only have three quarter inch, but the temperature drop isn't that much. So it's, it's really not putting out 50,000 BTUs. It's probably more like 25, 30,000 and that's what I've read from other reviews of this this unit too. Um, so I would have I would have upsized to a bigger model just so it ran less, and I still might do that. But it works pretty good and it puts out plenty of heat. And I'm only use I'm only losing a couple degrees um, in underneath the ground, so it's basically running directly underground here to my house and then I got it coming up this kind of looks hokey right now but it's coming up here and then goes to a 90 and I spray foam that so it really hasn't melted any snow or anything yet this whole year and haven't had much heat loss off so off it so it's working good I got it full of filled with antifreeze too you want to you really have to put antifreeze in it so if, if it's not running it won't freeze.